Morning News on LBC. David Cameron is off to Poland today before meeting Angela Merkel in Germany to conclude his European tour. The trip has been widely seen as an attempt to gain support for EU reform ahead of the British referendum on its membership next year. He's already met with the Dutch PM and French president, but many see German Chancellor Merkel as the key to any meaningful reform. Well, Ben Harris Quinney joins us now, chairman of the UK's oldest conservative think tank, the Bo Group. Morning to you, Ben. Morning. Let me just put a quote to you from one German minister, if I may, uh, or big businessman rather, actually, saying Europe should actually just refuse to negotiate point blank with Cameron. And uh, he was actually shocked the UK was holding a referendum at all. And also for one Polish minister saying if every country in the EU came uh, with a shopping list, then it would the whole thing would just implode. It would signal the end. Uh, fair points or not? Uh, well, I don't think that um, those points reflect the views um, of the leadership in, in Poland or in Germany. Um, it, it's pretty clear that uh, Angela Merkel and David Cameron have a very strong working relationship. Um, and there are red lines that Angela Merkel can't go over. She's clearly under political pressure in, in, in Germany um, and in, in the wider European Union. But she has shown a, weak, a, a willingness to, to debate the issue um, and I think there is an acceptance now um, among all European leaders that the debate over EU reform is now necessary and will take place. If David Cameron, though, comes back at the end of today failing to achieve so far any substantial reform, how does it harm the Yes campaign? And just tell us which side of the fence you're on. Well, I don't think David Cameron is looking to come back um, from these uh, discussions with European leaders with um, any substantial commitments uh, for specific reforms. Um, I think what he's doing is um, he's making the case to European leaders um, that the United Kingdom um, has made uh, its, its desire to have a referendum clear by electing a Conservative majority. Um, that is now something that will happen in the United Kingdom. And I think what he's trying to do is make the case that there needs to be a debate on EU reform. And I think that um, that is, is pretty much now widely accepted. In terms of my personal view, um, I think it's going to come down to um, the, 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 the level of reforms David Cameron um, is able to achieve. Um, I think those reforms need to be very, very significant for the United Kingdom to remain in the European Union. I think most people in the United Kingdom like the, the free trade side of our relationship with the European Union, um, but are pretty sceptical about the political side and the ever closer union side and the, and the creation of uh, what is essentially a federal state uh, being run from Brussels. And so I think if we could have more of the free trade and much less of the political side, then certainly that's something that I'd support. And I think it'd actually be very popular with the British public as well. Ben, really good to talk to you. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Ben Harris. Quinney there, chairman of the UK's oldest conservative think tank, the Bow Group.